What's going on YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. I'm coming back with a really cool opening. Actually, two openings this weekend. So I got Umbreon and my new boy Shaman here, courtesy of my buddy the SMG Quest. If you didn't see my ridiculous, amazing BCBM from him last week that I uploaded, it's in two parts. It's on my channel. Definitely check it out after you see this cool opening. So anyways, let's just not even waste any time. Let's just show it. This is the Pokemon X and Y beginning set. It's a 330 card half decks uh, that are released to uh, commemorate the uh, the start of X and Y in the TCG. Now uh, these are Japanese cards, so obviously they're going to be different and unreadable for us normal American and English folk. Uh, but I do want to give a a quick tour of everything. It is really cool. Uh, yeah bunch of stuff that I can't read on the back, and I honestly haven't looked up a whole lot of stuff ahead of time. I have checked to make sure that uh, I would know at least most of the names of the Pokemon, but then again, if I happen to get any of them wrong, there's no shame in that. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, not even a pity laugh? Okay. So anyways, we're going to take the tape off of this and open it up, and we're going to go through all the cards and the extra contents, should there happen to be any here. Uh, tape's a little bit slippery. It's an unseasonably warm day here. And by unseasonably warm, I mean it's like 55 degrees, so. So the tape is removed. Ah, there we go. So let's crack into this box and see what lies ahead. Oh, nice. We're going to set this box in the background so it doesn't look like my desk is a complete and utter disaster. But yeah, uh, really cool to see the starters as holographic uh, promos here. Well, not really promos, but part of the deck and not really part of an openable set. Because you got, uh, you've got Chestnut and you have Delphox and Greninja there. So, let's see, how would you open this? We... A lot of plastic going on here. I'm going to take this off. Yep, and away they go. Kind of expected that. Sliding all over the place. Cards, cards, and cards. And the rest of it, it looks like, is just inside here. So we're going to go through the cards last and do this stuff now. Get rid of that. Point that up there. First, we have the damage counters. And it's nice that they're uh, consistently doing the 100 damage counters now. Because... Well, with the, uh, with the advent of the EXs and the insane popularity that they now have, it's important to have this kind of uh, damage counter for live play. So, yeah, pretty cool. I don't play the game, I'm just a collector, so... I'm going to crack this goofy thing open, see what's inside. Uh, in fact, I'm going to grab some... I'll just use a razor blade. There we go. Get that started. Oh boy. I really did a number with this. This is going to be one of the longer videos, I think. I'll probably shorten it up because I do still have the uh, the opening for girls, which will follow. That will be up tomorrow. Uh, most of the cards are going to be the same. So, uh, In here we have, uh, wow, uh, another giant play mat. Let's see if we can give a little bit of a look as to what's on it. Hey, cool. Let's see uh, starters again. Can we show that? We got Delphox and Greninja. And let's rotate it back around and show Chestnut. Awesome. Very nice. So that is handy. Just trying to fold this back up in the appropriate fashion off camera here. Bear with me for a sec, guys. There we go. Alright, this is a DVD. And I will play it later, hoping that it actually does play, but we'll show the disc anyways. And um, if it's anything good, then maybe we'll be able to watch it together. Let's see. We'll look at the outside, and hey, nice. wonder what it's going to be like. Like I said, if it's amazing, I won't withhold it from you. But if it's weird or unplayable or just plain boring, then I won't let you know about it. Uh, looks like um, maybe some uh, tips about the game, about X and Y in general. 
Always nice to get booklets. Oh yeah, definitely want to show this for you guys if you haven't seen already. Right there you can see Venusaur EX and Mega Venusaur EX. Uh, the Mega Pokemon are going to evolve from the EX Pokemon in the, uh, in the X and Y series. Now when you evolve your EX Pokemon into a Mega EX, then that ends your turn and you're not able to attack with it. But they're extremely powerful, so it would kind of make sense to balance it out a little bit. Uh, I think the Venusaur and the Blastoise have over 200 HP apiece once they're evolved into uh, their Mega Forms, so... Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got here? Looks like a Japanese Q&A of some kind. You know what, guys? This is running pretty long, so I'll just leave a timestamp in, um, in the description below. Uh, that's random. Whatever that's for, maybe to hold your damage counters or something instead of sending a box. Yeah, I'll leave a timestamp for when I start opening the cards. And it looks like this is promotional material for Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, the collections. The uh, booster boxes, they come out in Japan on December 13th, which is Friday. And I think that is really cool. I think it's going to be 60 cards per set. And I myself have not settled on whether I'm going to collect it or not, but I did want to have a look at the artwork on these cards and um, see how I felt about it. So, All right, so timestamp is going to be 6.30 for when I start opening these up. So let me just peel away the plastic wrap off camera, which could take a second, and we will go through the cards. I'm actually not keen on how they package these. There's really nothing to shield the uh, the cards from being damaged while you pull them out and having the uh, having the chestnut in the front is just yeah it's making me nervous about damaging the card because this is going to be the only copy of the holographic card that I have here so sorry about this guys but I want to be careful with them unlike a few minutes ago when I threw them <laughs> out of the package but all right, here we go. Look at that wonderful chestnut hollow. I really like the hollow pattern on it too. Like these crazy like energetic waves. You've got it on the borders of the card and you've got it in the center of the card too, which is really cool. We're gonna sleeve that one up right now. Awesome, very nice. And we'll go through these ones fairly quickly, I think. Now, I've not really seen the artwork on them either, so it's going to be new to me. Uh, we have Weedle, uh, Pansage. Can we get some focus here? There we go, Pansage. Uh, Chespin. A couple of him. Uh, Quilladin. And a couple of that one. This is uh, Snubble, and this is the first Pokemon that is in my possession with the new Fairy type. That's awesome. I like the color on the card, too. It's nice. Good decision by them. We got Snubble, and you have Grand Ball, also Fairy-type. Uh, this one, I believe, is Swirlix. I think I'm... I think I'm right about that, but I'm not positive. Uh, there's a regular Snorlax, but really nice, too. Cool. Uh, this is Bunnelby. Yeah, I think it's Bunnelby, and then evolves into Diggersby, but I don't think he's in this one. Uh, we got a Potion. Uh, maybe that's Switch or something. That looks like a Pokeball. There's another one. And this is uh, Tierno, or Tierno, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but this is the new version of Sharon, the play the card as a supporter and draw three. Got a bunch of Grass Energy, and the new Fairy Energy. That just looks awesome. So, very nice. So we're going to set these aside. Take another... 20 to 25 minutes to open the other cards off uh, off camera and we'll go right back into it. Oh, so this is actually going to be a lot easier because I found a, uh, a seam in the back that I can use. So that'll be quicker. Alright, so that one's done and this one too. So let me know in the comments below, guys, are you planning on collecting Pokemon X and Pokemon Y? What do you think of the opening? And really any other manner of things that you can think of. 
Okay, so the first card here is going to be the Delphox Hollow, which is the f the uh, final evolution of the um, fire type starter in X and Y. Really cool, really nice. Not that they've ever really needed to step it up with their uh, Pokemon card quality since black and white, but these look amazing, really awesome. I hope they have similar, um, well, not necessarily similar hollow effects, although I would love that, but uh, similar quality for the uh, black and white, uh, not the black and white, the X and Y sets. So, I think they look pretty cool. Here we have a Slugma, uh, Panseer. This is Fennekin, which is the starter. A couple of those. Uh, is this Brakeson or I don't I don't even know. That's a total guess. I'm guessing that off of reading it. Uh, that looks like Poochyena to me. A couple of those and Mightyena. That one looks really nice. Look at that background. Uh, this is Inke or Inky or something. That's yeah, a new Pokemon as well. Evolves into Malamar, but Malamar is not in these uh, in these half decks. Uh, here we have a Fletchling. Uh, this is Furfrau, and there are two Furfraus. In fact, uh, each um, each of the uh, boys and girls beginning sets for X and Y have exclusive hollows and exclusive uh, exclusive cards as well. I think each one has three that the other one does not. So another reason why I had to get both. Uh, again, I'm going to assume this is the new artwork for Switch. That looks like the new Pokemon catcher, and wow, how about that? Absolutely gorgeous, as uh, Mad Eye would say, I believe. Uh, some more Pokeballs, and another Tierno. Got some Fire Energy, a bunch of those, and some Darkness Energy. Awesome. So that's the second half deck there. I want to make sure I give these cards their due, so apologies for the video being about 15 minutes long, but I did want to show it off. And the final half deck. It's going to start off with this Greninja Hollow. Again, the same pattern as we saw before. Greninja is probably the uh, most popular, at the very least, in the games as a uh, as a usable Pokemon. So, being able to see him look like a total BA in the um, in the TCG is also very encouraging. Nice. So, another sleeve for him, and a few more cards to go through. Of course, we kind of expected this. This is the Panpour, the other monkey. Uh, there's Froakie, chilling on a lily pad. That is Frogadier. Well, yeah, I think it's Frogadier. I think that's what he's called. A couple of those. This one is Clauncher. I was really concerned I was going to forget his name. But, very nice. Uh, there's Ponyard. Nice to see Ponyard again. A couple of them, plus a Bisharp. Cool. Uh, there's Honedge, and uh, Honedge and Dublade and Aegislash, or Aegislash, however you pronounce that, um, are definitely going to be popular too. Uh, looks like they're going to be interesting once the uh, once the sets come out. I'm sure people will play them. Uh, there's a Farfetch'd. Oh, nice. Bidoof, chilling with a stick. Uh, this one is Crushing Hammer, I think. Uh, another Switch. Uh, some more Pokeballs. Another Tierno. And two types of energy, water, got about, I think, six of those, and metal. So, wow, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Going to show these uh, the hollows off one more time, get a nice look at those. For the new starters, they look really epic. I think this would be a nice, a nice thumbnail. Um, but yeah, they look really amazing, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this opening, because I'm glad to count these as cards in my collection now. And don't forget, I will be back tomorrow morning, and I'll be opening up the X and Y beginning set for girls, which will feature three new cards and new hollows, and most importantly, trade bait for anybody that wants the duplicates that are not part of my complete set. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.